About a month ago, I did a video listing my top 10 favorite video game songs of all time. While the response was largely positive, some of you in the comments made a very good point. It's tough to limit yourself to just a top 10 list when there's so much great video game music out there. And honestly, I couldn't agree more. So, I've decided to make another video with even more of my favorite video game songs. These songs are in no particular order, and I'm just going to number them for the sake of numbering them. So, here is... Number 1. Want You Gone from Portal 2. If this game had come out before I made my first video game music video, it definitely would have replaced Still Alive. While I still think that Still Alive is a good song, it really works better as a meme, while Want You Gone works better as an actual song. Now, Portal 2 is a fairly new game, well, at least at the time when I released this video it is, so I'm going to keep quiet regarding the lyrics or meaning to the song. But I will say that it does manage to keep the same clever lyrics and silly tone of Still Alive, with, in my opinion, better structure overall. So, since this song didn't initially make it into my favorites, for all intents and purposes, it's honorable mention number one. Number two, Call of Magic from Morrowind. At the time, Morrowind was one of the first games to make an RPG that felt more like an MMO. It was unheard of at the time to have a game with such large world and with such diverse characters. However, the game was not without its faults, as it was extremely buggy, but, on the other hand, name one RPG by Bethesda in recent years that isn't. But, good game or not, this song is fantastic. Not only is this song very appropriate sounding, but it's extremely catchy. With its powerful and well-composed tune, I may find myself whistling this song at many points during the day. While the Oblivion and Scarab themes are also good, they're just slightly different variations of this theme, and sometimes, it just can't beat the original. Number 3. The Peanut Park theme from Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah, there's a good reason I used this song for my review of the game. Say what you will about the game itself, but it's pretty hard to deny that it had some great music. I personally prefer this one over the rest in the game, due to its simplistic and upbeat tune. In almost all of the Super Mario games, most of the songs are just different variations of a single song. For instance, in Super Mario World, the Overworld theme, Athletic theme, Castle theme, and Cave theme are all just slightly different variations of each other. This principle, for the most part, also holds true in Super Mario Sunshine, but to me, I always prefer the songs that aren't just remixes of the same theme, which is why I prefer the Peanut Park theme. It stands on its own, and still has the upbeat and happy tune that's well known to the Super Mario games. Number 4. Gangplank Galleon from Donkey Kong Country. All of the old school gamers can probably appreciate this one. Everyone who fought King K. Rule remembers this gem. It starts off with a catchy little jingle, sounding slightly pirate-like, due to the fact that you're on a pirate ship. But then it gets direr sounding, reminding you that this is, in fact, a boss battle. Of course, everyone remembers the boss battle itself. After beating K. Rule in a fairly easy fight, the game rolls the fake credits, then the fight continues, forcing you to sprint back to your game controller before you get killed. So, with this great tune and fantastic nostalgic implications, this song cements itself as one of my favorites of all time. Number 5. Flower Garden from Super Mario World 2. I actually only started playing this game about a month ago. While I think the game itself is just okay, I do like the music from it. This tune is very simple, but like most video game tunes, catchy. Aside from that, I really can't say why I like it so much. Maybe I'm just a sucker for music from Super Mario games, or maybe it's because it helps drown out that annoying ass cry from Baby Mario. Either way, I still like it. Enough said. Number 6. The Dr. Mario Fever Theme. Speaking of catchy video game tunes, almost anyone who has played this game, or Super Smash Bros. Melee or Brawl, knows this song all too well. I swear, it's as though it was designed to get stuck in your head. But, I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it. It's amazing how a game that is basically just a rearranged version of Tetris could have such an astounding cultural impact. But, for having such a simple concept, this game is very addictive. Which is probably the reason the song gets stuck in your head. What else can I say, except... I got a fever. And the only prescription is... More fever. Moving on. Number 7. The Metro 2033 theme. In case you haven't seen my review of this game, I personally feel that this is an excellent game. What I didn't mention in that video, however, is that this is actually one of my favorite video games. The 
AI and hit detection during combat is a bit off, however I feel that this game has one of the most powerful and excellent stories out of any video game I've played. Now for the song. I personally like this song so much because it works very well in the context of the game. It has a very mellow and almost sad tune to it, and for a game about a young man's struggle to save both his home and in turn himself after a nuclear apocalypse, that pretty much sums it up. So with its melancholy yet appropriate tune, this song paints a great picture of post-apocalyptic life. And speaking of post-apocalyptic... Number 8. The Fallout 3 Main Menu Theme There's no denying that this game has an amazing licensed soundtrack, but aside from those songs, this main theme is outstanding. While the Metro 2033 theme paints a more melancholy and slightly hopeful picture of the nuclear apocalypse, this song has a more dire and dark tune. The main difference between this Fallout and the first two, aside from the fact that it was a first-person shooter rather than an RPG, is that the main story traded a large portion of the humor for a more dire and serious situation. Given, the game still did have the humor that is well known to the Fallout series, but for the most part, it's just darker. And this theme really reflects that. The post-apocalyptic themes may vary, but war, war never changes. Number 9. The Medal of Honor Rising Sun theme. When I picked the European Assault theme as my number two favorite video game song, I was either going to go with that one or this one. The first Medal of Honor theme composed by Christopher Leonards, this song has an extremely upbeat, powerful tune. Like I've said before, the Medal of Honor games all have excellent music. Well, aside from that one. This theme is just one of those tunes that I find stuck in my head for no apparent reason at all. It's very well composed and provides a fairly optimistic tune for a World War II game. The game itself really wasn't all that good, even for the time. The graphics and gameplay were pretty bland. But that's okay, because sometimes, great music is all you need. Moving on. Number 10. The Ocean on His Shoulders from Bioshock. Bioshock is an excellent horror survival slash suspense thriller of a game. Between the unique premise, excellent story, and fairly invented gameplay, this is one game that if you haven't checked it out yet, do so. Immediately. As for the song, I really enjoyed this tune for various reasons. First off, it gives a great job conveying the sad yet scary overall feel of the game. Second, it's very well composed. And third, well, I just like it. Hearing this song brings me straight back to Rapture. Hunting big daddies, killing splicers, and saving little sisters. So, if you haven't managed to hear this song in its entirety yet, do so. Would you kindly? Number 11. The final Bowser theme from Super Mario 64. Oh yeah, you all remember this one. You spent the past 20 hours working on those 75 stars, fought through bombs, chomps, goombas, and koopas, all leading up to this point. Once you hear this tune, you know shit's about to get real. It's all or nothing, and you gotta send that oversized spike turtle into the mines for one last time. Of course, this boss battle is extremely easy, just like the other two times, but of course, you didn't see it that way at the time, and neither did I. This just goes to show that even if a boss fight isn't all that tough, having a powerful song and great atmosphere can carry it all the way. So, just hearing this music gets you all hyped up. Then, before you know it, for one last time, it's... Number 12. Hyrule Field from Ocarina of Time. While the Song of Storms was my favorite song from Ocarina of Time, this is a close second. I'm not gonna lie, there is a large amount of nostalgia factored into the fact that I love this song so much, but it does do a good job of standing on its own. I'm not even sure how to describe this song, so you know what? I'm just gonna let it play for a while. What else can I say? It's a great song from a great game, and the music speaks for itself. Number 13. The Crash Bandicoot Warped Theme. The Crash Bandicoot games are all fairly basic, yet addictive platforms. For anyone who had a PS1 or PS2, you probably had at least one of these games. Warped is actually the only Crash Bandicoot game I've ever played, but this song has always stuck with me. It has a rather appropriate sound for a game that involves both time and interdimensional travel, with its techno-futuristic sound. 
So, with its catchy tune, this is just one of those instances that when it comes to PS1 classics, you really can't go wrong. Number 14. Dolphin Park from Wave Race 64. Now, this is the part where I would give you some sort of background of the game, or tell you how the game was overall. Except there's one problem. I don't remember this game at all. I had it. I beat it. But that was 12 years ago. And for the life of me, I cannot remember a damn thing about this game. But even though I have barely any recollection of this game, to this day, I can still remember the tune. It's just so peaceful and simple sounding that, for no apparent reason, over the years it's just stuck with me. This just goes to show that sometimes the music in a game can stand out more than a game itself. And in this case, I'm perfectly fine with that. And finally, number 15. The Paperboy Theme. Just speaking of this game around old school gamers is usually enough for them to have flashbacks to a time when they were pulling their hair out playing this game. This game would throw almost everything but the kitchen sink at you to make your life hell. Whether it was RC cars, kids on trikes, or the grim friggin' reaper, this game took a simple concept and made it infuriating. But of course, I and most other people who played it loved this game. And the same goes for the theme. Listening to this song while delivering for the Daily Sun made the trek a bit more enjoyable. So, with its upbeat tune, this was the sort of song that was necessary while playing such an aggravating game. Seriously, Grim Reaper? Thanks for watching, everyone. I enjoy making these, and I also enjoy hearing some of your favorite video game themes. You never know, maybe you could convince me to add some more songs to my favorites list. So, until next time, this has been Edog. Still gaming, still reviewing, and still jamming. See you next time.